Hey everybody, welcome back to craftingonabudgetstore.com for all your scrapbook needs. I am here to do a little folio project with you, but I wanted to give you guys some awesome news. If you are shopping May's store, which is craftingonabudgetstore.com, you can now use Michelle with two L's, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E, dt and you will get 15 percent off your orders i was floored that she was going to do that i am so excited for all of you so now you have a discount code yay i'm so happy um so anyway without further ado let's do this i haven't been on because i have pneumonia i was diagnosed with it and i was down for the count for about a week I'm just starting to get my voice back. Hopefully it will last for the duration of the um, tutorial. So I don't want to spend a lot of time chit-chatting. I want to get right into the project so that you guys can make this. I am using the Time of Wonder by Minte. And as you know, I absolutely love this collection. And so today we're going to make a folio. So the first thing you need are two eight and a half by 12 pieces of paper and what you will do is you will join them together with your score tape which I'm so happy I have my score tape back and um, so you'll join them together just with one piece of score tape now what you want to do is you want to score this and because it's rather long you're going to first put it into your scoreboard and you're going to score at a half, at eight, and eight and a half. And then all you're going to do is flip it around like this into your scoreboard again, and it's going to be a half, eight, eight and a half. Okay, so that will give you all of the scoring you need for the base. So let me put that there. Now, what I like to do when I'm working on a folio is to number my spaces to show me where everything is so I'm not losing track of where I'm putting things. I have to say this, I believe Rosa Kelly might have done some, something like this. I'm not sure. It's not my original idea, and I do always like to try to give credit. So it's either her or Shelly Geigel. Um, but... I did want to um, give credit where credit is due and this is a really sweet folio that you can do very quickly and um, you just need one pad of the Minte paper and you'll have some stuff left over so that you can add some goodies to it if you didn't buy the ephemera or the cardboard stickers or the sheet that you cut everything out of. So um, the first thing we want to do is you see here we have the these uh, Hmm, what would you call them? Well, you just have these scored these scored lines on either side. And we're going to put flaps down on these scores. Um, the flaps are six and three quarter by eight and a half. You're going to need two of them. And you're going to score them at three eighths, which I've done. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to, to take the tape off and I'm going to carefully put this in between the two, this little channel that we've created here. So let's do that. And you want to, you know, pay close attention because you don't want to go over your, your score marks when you're, when you're doing this. So I might have to adjust this to, so that I could see it better guys. Um, so forgive me if you can't see too good, but you'll just know, don't go over any of the score lines on either side. And if you do it carefully, you'll have no problem. Oh, mine got a little wonky there at the bottom. I don't know if I'll be able to pick it up. Maybe a little bit. Just fix that a little tiny bit. And, you know, if I don't like something, I just trim it because it's, and that's probably what I'll do. But I won't do that until later. Okay, so that's that one. Wow, I go way off there. 
All right, that's okay. Let me trim it now because it's going to bother me. You know how I get, guys. I must have made it too. I don't know what I did wrong. I'll blame it on my pneumonia because my head is just not well put together. Okay, and then we're going to put the other one down. Same thing in this channel over here. And hopefully we'll do a better job this time. And if my hands are a little shaky, it's because I'm on albuterol and albuterol does that to you. It's my steroid. Well, I'm on steroids too. Um, so let me get that up there. Alan, am I over my score line? No. There we go. Oh, that one came out much better. Okay. So now we have this flap. We have this flap. So then what I like to do is number the pages. And mine are off because I used different flaps. So let me just fix that. And I'll show you what I mean. Because it's really important that you know what you're working on. So we have this little piece here that's going to be a pocket. So this is actually page one. This is page two. This is page three. The center is page four. Then this is page five over here. We open it to page six. And I'll move that because I took the wrong one now. Move that. This is page seven. Now, here's the envelope on the opposite side, which you can't really see because it's so long. But if I move this over, I have the front right right and I have front left and this is the back okay so that's how it's going to look when it's all folded together nicely and all covered but we have a lot of work to do before we get to that so let's start working on the cover first so we want front left is what we're going to be working on so just pay attention to where you are in your folio I'm probably going to use wet glue. All right. So what do we want to do with the front here? I have it set up. So I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty good today. Um, this is the front. Hold on. All right. This is the cut aparts for the front flap. These are for my side flap my front and I'll give you the dimensions in a second don't worry this is my front this is my front this is my front panel this is my front panel this is my main base okay we got a lot of stuff going on here all right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to put our mat down. And this mat measures six and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So let's get the glue going. Let's hope we don't have any problems with it. I haven't been in here doing anything except cutting, so. I don't go all the way to the edge with this because it does squeeze out a little bit. So if you're wondering why you don't see me going really close to the edges, it's because once you put it down and start smushing it, it does all kind of go out. All right. So there we have that. Okay. Then on our front, we're going to put a three and seven eighths by five inch front panel. It's going to go right dead center. So let's 
do that. Start it the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. So three and seven eighths by five. And there is your front panel. And then, of course, we want to mat it. And actually, this is three and six eighths by four and seven eighths, the mat. It's just slightly smaller. Okay. All right. Just want a tiny bit of black showing on that. All right. So there we have that. Okay. So let me get my, I'm just moving my papers as we go so that we don't get lost all right next piece is our little front folder flap you want to call it it goes onto the center panel it's three and a half by four and an eighth and you score at three eighths and what this is going to do is we're going to put this here and it's just going to make a little a little flap and it's going to have magnets so as you can see here, I added a magnet to the bottom and I added the other magnet there. So let me pull off this piece of tape. And I think we should center it as best as we can. There we go. And I'm going to push a little bit harder here because I want that magnet to stick down when I separate them, which it did. Okay, so now we have a magnet here and a magnet here. And now we're going to use the cut aparts from the cut apart page to decorate these pages. And I love this one. So this is definitely going on the cover. I love the snow globe. So let's do that. And you could choose whichever ones you want, guys. It's, it's your preference. But I love these cut apart pages. So let me put this here first get that going all right and then let's open it and then I just want to take this tape off of there that's holding my magnet in place I'm going to add more glue I probably should have done it to the actual card so let me do that I'm going to use another one of the cut aparts I'm using a little nutcracker here and I'm going to put him on so there he goes. Nice. Very nice. And then I'm going to just add this one. So let's take this tape off. I might have to pull that tape back a little bit. Um, and then let's add this card. So we're using three so far of the cutter part sheets. We're going to use them again in a few. So just so you know. Make sure it covers. I'm going to put this here, lining it up, and voila, there's your cover. Easy peasy. Okay, I'm telling you. Oh, and I did cut out these little things that say, you know, this says time of wonder, in case I wanted to add it there. Um, these are from the little salvages of the sheets. But I don't think I'm going to put it there. I might put it somewhere else. But I saved a couple of them. So just in case, um, you know, you just want a little something, you can put that there. Now, I do notice that my glue didn't extend all the way out to my corner here. So I'm going to add some glue. Not a problem. All right. So now we're going to open our page. And here we go. Let me move these. A lot of moving parts here, guys. Um, all right, this is for the back. Oh, I could have done the back. You know what? Let's do the back because I have the back. Um, the back is going to be a smaller. It's going to. I'm just going to set it to to conserve paper. And because I'm going to be putting strips here and here when the folio is done, we can conserve a little bit of paper. And so this is five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And this is going to go on your back. And this is why it's so important to label the pieces of your folio. 
so that you have the right pieces where you want them. Okay, so this is going to stay back, and this I'm going to put right in the back, and there we go. Okay, now we're going to work on pages one and two. Here's the flap that we already know about. This is the flap that's going to make the pocket for us. So what I've done is I've taken um, a big 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I've cut it down. Let me just grab my pieces, guys. I'm sorry. I've cut it down to eight and a quarter by six. Now, if you notice, this section here is wider than this flap here. But that's not going to be a problem because when you put this here, you're going to move this closer to this side so that it looks like the seam connects. You see how I'm, see where I'm going with that? It doesn't matter if there's a gap here because this is going to close over. So for the pages one and two, you're going to need an eight and a quarter by six inch sheet of paper. And again, very easy to do. I took the 12 by 12. I cut it down to eight and a quarter where I thought I would like it because I didn't want to lose the seam. And then I just cut it in half uh, by, uh, it's by six, not six. I think I said six and a quarter. It's by six. So you're just going to take it and then cut it in half. Okay. So there's that one. So far we're doing good. And then here is page two. And this is the repeat of the design. So it kind of just flows nicely. And again, this piece of paper that I'm holding in my hand is eight and a quarter by six. All right. This one lined up. Pretty nicely here. Look at how pretty that looks. Mm, okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add glue on the top and the bottom just to shut my little envelope here. Just a little strip of glue. I'm not going to use score tape for that. Just glue. Now. I have a little marking on this to remind me that I have to put magnets here. So two circles. I'm not going to do my magnets yet, but I'm just letting you guys know what I'm doing. For this page, I want to put two flaps on this page and we're going to use magnets to do it. And I have my information over here for those. So let me get that and we'll get this started. So, I want to put a flap that's up here on the top, as high as it can go on the top, and then one on the bottom. Okay, so that's how that's going to look. And the um, magnets are going to go on the inside of these. So these are four by six and a half. They're called inner flips, and we scored them at three eighths on the six and a half inch side. So I'm going to grab my magnets and put them there. Now I think May has the magnets that actually say like positive, negative. I got to flip mine all around all the time, but it's it's okay if you don't have those kind. But if you can get the ones that she has, I think you'll be very happy that you do. But again, it's just a personal preference. Um, I'm not going to take that off yet. And I'm going to just cover this magnet as well. Okay. So here we have two again, four by six and a half. These are the inner flips and we're scoring them at three eighths. So now I'm going to take my score tape and move this down a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to come around. I'm actually going to add a little bit of glue just to give me a little wiggle room in case I don't like where I'm at. I'm going to add some glue to this. And I'm going to be careful 
not to go over the score line. I'm going to actually pinch it and I think do it this way. I think that would be easier. Get up to there. I'm not over the score line. I'm at the top of the page. And now I'm going to pinch and press it. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Did I put the magnet on the wrong place? No. Okay. Um, I'm, and that's a great trick with the glue, the art glitter glue, or you can use your YooHoo glue stick because it just gives you a little bit of extra time for placement. So I'm just going to put that down there. I'm going to come now to the bottom of my page. I'm going to pinch this. I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom. Right where I want to be. Hold on. I don't want to see that. And then I'm going to pinch that shut. So now these flaps are going to stay nice. So let's cover the inside of these first. And then we'll add our magnets to the other side. So this is for the front flip. This is for the... Let me see what I got here. All right, so we can put one here. These mats, did I give you a dimension on these? Mats for the side flips are five and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. So this is going to go just like that. I'm going to remove my tape off of my magnet. I like to add the tape on top of the magnet just so that I know it's holding. There we go. Pencil underneath there. No wonder it wasn't sitting right. Okay, and then we're going to put this one here. Okay, and then I thought it'd be fun for the bottom to use two of those cut parts because I love these cut parts. Um, but I do see that we're going to have to trim them just in tiny bits. So let me see where I want to make the cut. Maybe not. Hold on, let me see. It's kind of close, but I kind of like it that way. And now this one has to be cut. So let me make a little marking here. And I will use my paper trimmer because I'm not going to trust my eyes this late, that's for sure. I'm just going to take a little bit off and see if that helps. Let's say we got. Yeah, but now I have to take it off of the other side. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, my goodness. But this is good because you're seeing how to do it. Where's my pencil? Um, you're seeing what I'm doing. So I'm just marking a little pencil line there. Because these cards are a little bit bigger than what that page will hold. Okay. So, not a problem. I love my, I'm so happy that I added my new blade. Okay. So now we have these two. And they should be fine. And they are. So let's remove this tape. Get that out of the way and let's start adding our cards now you could use the opposite side of the card if you want to if you wanted to put your own picture in there i'm not um because i like to see the paper and you don't want to go over the score line as you remember there's one and here is two Try to have this better stepped out for us this time, guys. There we go. All right. So there's flap one and two. And now we're going to put... You could use the pink again. But I'll put the pink on the bottom this time. And again, now we're just decorating the reverse side of the flap. And if you're using a big piece, you know that the mat is five and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. Okay. And then 
and then I'll put the two, I'm going to use two more of those cards because I just think they're so cute. And I'm going to put these on the top. And do I have to cut these? I, I thought I trimmed them a little bit. So let's see. Nope, they're good. I trimmed those. I must have forgot to trim the other ones. So I'm just putting two cards together. Woo! Don't go anywhere. There's one. Uh, I just can't even tell you how much I love. Oh, look at the back side of that one. That's really pretty. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, I think I will. I didn't even look at the back side of that one. I love these. These cards I love. We're going to make a little mini book with them too. Um, two different sizes because I have these little cards from the 6x6 six six pad as well. So we'll be doing that. Okay. All right. So there we go. So now if we go to this side, when we move this over, we got to now find out where those magnets are. So I just let it find itself. Okay. And I'm going to put tape over those. Some score tape. Okay. Another piece. All right. Now let me see where my this is now we're on page three so where's my page three now here's page three and here's page five okay so those are going to go like this and again these are the eight and a quarter by six so let's get those on. See how easy this is? I was prepping so much because I just wanted it to go smoothly. And I didn't want to take up too much time. And I also can't be talking for very long. Or else you know me. Gab, gab, gab. All right. So this is page three. and I love slicing these scenes apart because they're just so gorgeous and then here's our middle which is actually number four we're skipping that for a second and we're putting this on page five now I think in the tutorial I watched they added pockets to these pages and I don't want to add pockets to these pages because then you can't see the paper um, but we, I think we are going to add a pocket somewhere so don't give up on the pockets just yet. And here we go again. Put this one here. Very pretty. Okay. All right. So, so far we have our cover, our flap. We have our pocket here. We have our flips that go out. This opens. Here's a page. Here's a page. Next page we're going to do, I think, is number six. Let's see. Is this for page six? Yeah, page six, and we're going to add a pocket to this page. So let me get this one again, eight and a quarter by six. And you guys now just either freeze it if you're trying to write uh, the dimensions down or just, you know, pause it or just re-watch it. I like to watch stuff, write all my images down, I mean my, my images, my dimensions down, and then go back and do it. Now page seven is a shorty again because I'm trying to conserve the paper so because I have this envelope style flip here I can move this closer to here and not worry about this 
not being centered. So page seven again, this is actually this page is a cutoff sheet and this was five and a half by eight and a quarter. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to use it. Just going to use it. So we're going with it. Wow, this folio is coming together pretty fast. All right. And I'm going to move it closer to here. And then, of course, I'm going to add the glue. And I know it's hard to see, but I'm adding glue again to either the bottom and the top to make the envelope. The little side envelope there. Okay. Sit down. Sit down. Get, let me get my little burnisher. Okay. All right. So now this piece is where we're going to put a pocket. And where is my pocket mat? This is my pocket mat. Yes, that's my pocket mat. Um... I thought I had another piece, so hold on one second. These are for the covers. That's for the waterfall. We are doing a waterfall. We are getting really crazy with ourselves, guys. This is for the middle. This is for the right front cover, but we have to wait for after the magnets. Okay. All right. I think I might grab another piece or... There was something I wanted to do here. So let me just, uh, where are all my scraps? <laughs> Where'd they all go? Oh, here. Not many left, guys. I'm running low. Um, no. I thought I wanted to add like a, yeah, I think it was this. And I'll probably cut it down because I wanted a double mat on the, on the pocket. So let me give you the dimensions of the pocket. The pocket is four and a half by seven and an eighth, and you're going to score it um, a half an inch on all sides. Okay, so I am going to cut out these little corners here. corner out too just to remove the bulk from the pocket and then I'm going to set this pocket on very nicely there so let me take off my tape this is a great little project and it goes fast if you get everything cut right away you know hmm. Try not to have to use my pokey tool. Make it easier. Okay. I'm just going to add this to the bottom here. And there we go. There's our pocket. Now the mat is for the pocket is three and seven eighths by six. So we're going to put three and seven eighths by six on top. And then I do want to add an additional mat to it because I want to add some color. Hot little pop of color. So let's get this mat on. There we go. And then this one is great. The height is great. I'm just trying to see where I want to cut it. So let me get my little pencil, make my little pencil mark. I think I'm going to cut it right there. And again, this is a scrap, but I like to use all my stuff. You know me. We'll use, we're going to use it all. Every last bit of it. So let's put this down here. And I'm just going to cut it and I'll give you the measurements in case you want to do a double mat. I am saving this piece because you just don't know right now what we're going to be into. 
we just don't know so this piece is about mm, five and seven eighths by three and three quarters and we're just going to put that i just like that i think it looks pretty it looks like the candles are upside down though so i think i have to go this way yes this way um i, I think it just adds a little something you don't have to do that if you don't want but i like it so we're doing it okay so let's get this going here and that way it's not so much green over there because we have a lot of green here okay all right so now we're going to tackle this middle piece and we're going to put a waterfall in this middle piece so let me um put a little pin in my glue so we're ready for it and i'll show you how we're going to do this it's a little little bit of work but it will be worth it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this out of my way so that we can work right on the waterfall page so my page is eight and a quarter by six and a half it's going to go right center in there but i'm going to put my waterfall on this first centered and all i did was i marked I wanted to be able to know where to start my waterfall so I started it here we go with this ruler again I started it at about four and a half inches up I just put a little line to remind me that's where I want to start my waterfall and what you're gonna need for the waterfall we need a lot of pieces here <laughs> but you'll see why um, we need I say six one two three four five six we need six pages that are five and a quarter by four and three eighths and what you're going to do is you're going to score on the um let's make sure i'm telling you the right side you're going to score on the four four and three eighths side you're going to score at um four so you or so you're going to score all the way um yeah you're going to score at four how did i do this hold on let me just that doesn't sound right so i want to just make sure i'm looking at this right here it is four and there we go yes so you want to act actually you can just score yeah score at four so put it in at the four and three eighths and score at four and that will give you that that little top piece okay and you're going to do that for all six pieces so I know sometimes it gets confusing the direction. So I just wanted to make sure I was I was telling you the, the right direction to go in. Um, so now I'm going to start working. And the very first one I put down is going to start my waterfall. So I have the tape on it. You know what? Let me, let me use my glue stick. I'm going to add a little glue just to give me that wiggle room and I'm going to start it here uh, right on that line that I said I was going to start it on and I think I got it pretty close to being where it needs to go okay so now the next one to make it easier to line up all you're going to do is line it up like this and tape it down so let's try that and sometimes when you're doing a waterfall it gets a little fussy you can always you know try to straighten it out some some way but see what i'm going to do i'm going to line up this end with this end whoop and I'm glad I put that yoo-hoo there. 
with this end. Okay, so now I have that part of the waterfall. Now we're going to do this. We're just going to keep repeating. And I definitely recommend that you add some extra glue to your tape just because it's hard to see, especially when you're dealing with black. But the black looks so good with this collection. Okay. There's my next one. Coming along, right? And if you don't want a waterfall, you could have just put a blank piece of paper in there. You know, I mean, a pattern piece of paper in there. I wanted to add the waterfall. So, again, here we go. I'm lining up. See, I always used to do it in the reverse way. And then I saw someone do it this way. And I was like, oh my gosh, it makes it so much easier. Because I used to go underneath it. And for some reason, when I went underneath it, it didn't sit right. So, this is just a little trick that I learned. And passing it on to you. Because I think that you will like it. All right, here we go. Again, I can't see too good. I have a bright light shining in my eyes, but I wanted the light there so that you guys could see. <laughs> I feel like I'm in an interrogation room or something. Okay, here we go. There we go. And then our last one. our last guy and these once they're done should all be nice they should all be nice paying attention to themselves behaving there we go okay so there is our waterfall let me move some of this garbage out of the way guys just so we can see better all right so here's our waterfall now when you have a waterfall, you really want some kind of a mechanic or something that's going to tie this shut some way. So we're going to use magnets and we're going to use like a little hinge to do these. Um, the hinge is one and three eighths by three and three eighths. And where do we score it? We scored it at a half. And then five eighths to kind of make like this little see how it has like a little bracket see see what i'm saying it's got like a little space because this is what's gonna this is what's gonna go here and allow that to fill up with pictures because that's going to get bigger as you add things so the first thing i want to do is i want to glue this piece to the center and we are going to need magnet for this too and I'll show you why but just let's wait a second so we're going to put that there and we're going to actually put it in two places so we're going to actually put tape on that first that first score mark that we did that was a half an inch you're going to put tape on the inside and on the out Let me just make sure I'm doing this right. No, that's wrong. Don't put... Yeah, don't put tape on the reverse side. Just on one side. So, I don't know if this tape is going to let me take it off. We'll see. I didn't really push it down, so maybe I could scrape it off. Give me a second, guys. Yeah, Let's scrape it off little by little. There we go. Okay. Woo, crisis averted. 
All right, so now we just have tape on the one side. And put our things down. We're going to figure out where the middle is or close to it. No, 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 don't go down yet. Let me put a few, let me put some glue <laughs> just because I, I don't want to wreck it up. Um, and I want to get it right to right, but up to that score mark, but not completely. And then see, this is going to go up like this. But we're going to put a magnet here and a magnet on here so that it holds it all together. I'm just prepping my paper there. Okay, so let's get our magnet on the one side first. So cute. All right. My magnet there and then my other magnet Ooh, ready to go putting it on my score tape the wrong way that's why I like the ones um, that have the plus and minus okay so there we go I have it on the other side now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift I'm just going to gently pull this up a little bit and press. Okay, so now when we take this off, we have a magnet here and a magnet here. And our, as you can see, this is going to stay put. So now we have some little pieces. And I just eyeballed these pieces to cover this with. Um, so I don't really have an exact measurement for you. I'll measure the other one because they're both the same. Just to give you an idea of what size I made my hinge. But here we go with this. So this is going to go here. Very nice, really pretty. Of course, we'll probably add embellishments too. Um, and then this, let me I just want to get rid of some of my pencil in case you can see that. These are three and a quarter by one and one, two, three, one and four eighths. Okay, and so then here, I'm just going to be careful not to go to this score line here, and I'm just going to put this one right there. Isn't this cool how this is shaping up so fast? I mean, what a great thing to give as a gift. I would love to get this as a gift. In fact, I made my aunt a... Well, I didn't make it for her. It was so funny. She was here and she saw it and she was like, oh, I, I really love that. Um, and I have it. <laughs> of course, how do you say no? So, all right. Now we're going to completely cover the top one and we're going to completely cover this back one. Okay. Just, we're going to mat just those pieces, and then you're going to see what we're going to do with the rest of the um, paper. Let me see if I can go here there. All right, so probably do opposite. All right, so let's see here. Again, I don't want to go over any score line. I just want to center it there. Very nice. So that's one. And then on the front, I'm going to do the same thing. That's going to move my magnets over so I'm not 
I'm not getting magnetized to everything. And here is the other one. And these are three and a quarter by five. And these are just going to go just to cover the first one and the uh, bottom one, bottom one. For the rest of them, you're going to need 10 piece, 10 strips in alternating colors or completely. You can make them all different colors, but they're going to be five by a half. And what you're going to do is you're just going to either put, if you want them on the bottom, on the top, uh, I like them on the bottom, so you can put them on the bottoms of your papers, and I think on the tops. I think that's what I was going for there. Yeah, because, yeah. So, let's start with the, this one. And this is just going to give you a little... I made 10, uh, I don't know why I made so many, 10. So, you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to do all the bottoms first and figure out why, because this is, not even. Do the pink on this one. Just center it up a little bit. A little border on all the sides. That's a little bit too much. And do the next one. And again, I was cutting from just scraps that I have. So I didn't want to have a big... I just wanted to use what I had and see how I'm kind of just lining it up to what's already there And that's making it really easy to do. I'm just lining them up and just cool. I'm just alternating as you can see. Strips. extra glue there that's okay it dries clear and then we have one more to do okay I don't know why I have four more strips I don't really think you need it but I'm gonna look just to see what I might have been thinking <laughs> what I might have been thinking when I was doing this guys I might have just messed up the number Okay, so look at how nice that looks. Yeah, I, you don't need another one. So we need, we used one, two, three, four, five, six strips. So six strips at ten and a half, I mean, half, half an inch by five. And so you're going to need six. And now this should cover it. See? Look at how cool. Now, for this, I am not going to just use art glitter glue on the back of this because you see how the paper is already bowing a little bit? That's because of this waterfall. So let's move some of this out of the way. And we're going to use a combination of the score tape and art glitter glue. For this because we really want it to stay in place and honestly I think it needs more than just a little bit of regular glue so I'm just going around the edges and I'm going right up to the edge because I want this to stick really nicely 
Sorry if I'm thumping you guys. Hmm. Really nice. And I'm just kind of like twisting it. I feel like I'm mitering the corners like in my when I did quilting so many years ago. My goodness. And then I'm gonna I am gonna add some strips here as well because I just I just really want this to lay right and I'm telling you it won't if you just use regular glue and don't forget Michelle DT to get your awesome awesome discount which I didn't know was gonna be happening I'm so excited for you guys. I didn't know that was, I didn't know she was going to do that. She's so generous, May, and she, you know, she just had a death in her family. So please keep her in prayers. And, you know, guys, I'm just going to say the, the best way to help May is to not only shop at her store, but join her Patreon, watch these videos, give them a thumbs up. If you can watch the ads, watch the ads. You don't make a ton of money doing it, but it every little bit helps and you're supporting a small business, you know, so why wouldn't you want to do that? Like I said, every little bit helps. Sticky, sticky. There we go. All the way around. All right, let me move this these off. And then let's add some glue as well. Now we can get everything going. And I know this is a lot, it's overkill, but because of the way the page sits, you, you really need to do this for, for just this page. All right, now we're going to bring our folio back to us. And we're going to carefully put our waterfall page down. And I'm going to try to find the middle here. There we go. And I'm going to smush everything down. And I will use my bone folder to help me out with this, just so that the page stays the way I want it to stay. Okay. Very nice. There we go. Let's just do this. All right. Cool. Okay. So we have this, this, with these guys happening. We have a lot happening. This is really, really turned out to be something okay something wonderful all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put magnets on this side let me wait, let me close up my glue you don't want to have any problems i was trying to do this in under an hour guys but we're almost at the hour point and this is as fast as i could do it i'm sorry um so let me grab my magnets and my score tape and I'm just going to put these are really thin magnets I'm going to put a magnet here and you're going to see why in a minute so just put one there and whoop come back sorry wasn't quick enough. I'm going to put a magnet here. And then I'm going to take the score tape again, but I'm going to put it in the reverse position. And I'm going to put another magnet on top. You're going to see where this is going in one second. Maybe a little bit more than one second. Make sure it's on. Okay, so there's that one. 
So that's sticking because now we're going to fold this folio up so that we can get our magnets to stick onto the front cover so this stays shut when we're not using it. There we go. I'm going to put my marker tape there. Okay. All right. So remember, we have the right front. We have this. Now I wait till I get it all filled before I start laying down anything because I find that if I were to have already closed this and put the magnets here and filled it up, it might be bulging. So I want to make sure that I have my, my sides are nice, my, you know, and I'm not, you know, I'm not making it so that it's, it's not sitting right. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of have to fiddle with it just a tiny bit, you know, just to make sure you get everything down the way you want it. But I... I think that is good because my sides are nice and straight. And now I'm going to just push this down gently. And all I'm doing here is I'm adhering those other magnets to the reverse page. And did it do it? No. Okay. Let's try it again. I must not have I must not have been pushing hard enough. I just don't want to wreck it up. You know what I'm saying? See, because you want that nice and straight. You want this straight. Maybe I'll feel underneath there. I don't really know where the magnet is. Feel. Let's see if it works now. I hope so. Yeah, I think it's that. I think it did the trick now. There we go. Okay. So now we have magnets here and here. Now we can cover these sides. Where did I put those pieces? Here they are. Um, so this is going to go here like that. Really pretty. Goes with the paper. Um, and then this is going to go on the other side. So let's just get our magnets in place. It's so cute. And then let's use our glue. Come on, glue. Didn't make you sit that long. Wait for me. Let me see. It's not clogged. There we go. There we go. So there's our glue. And these, did I tell you what the what size these were? Inside pocket covers. One and three eighths by eight and a quarter is the mat for those. One and three eighths by eight and a quarter. So there you have one. No glue oozing, but not too bad. And then we're going to do this side. Now this side doesn't have a magnet and that's fine because we don't need a magnet on this side. There's that. And now we could put on our front cover page. And I think I decided I was going to go with the green. Yeah, I was going to go with the green. So we can take these off because now our magnets will stay put. 
And then we're going to try, I hope we can do a little bit of embellishing. Let's see. We're at an hour already. But... I love doing folios. I made what, so I was saying the story. My aunt saw it, wanted it, so she had one. And then I made one in all Paris for Isabel because she loves anything Paris or Nightmare Before Christmas, one of the two. <laughs> whichever, whichever one is available, she'll take. So um, there, so now this should shut with the magnet and it does. And look at how nice our folio is. Now we want to add some side strips to just cover here. And these strips are really small. They're like, I'm make sure it doesn't go, no, it doesn't go over. They're like, I want to say almost three eighths of an inch. But they're a quarter, of, no, they're three eighths of an inch. And they are by eight and a quarter almost. Yeah, eight and a quarter. And these are just going to go on either side of our folio. See how we have this black here? You can leave it black if you liked it black. Oh, I want to add the strips. to lift this up a little bit to see what I'm doing. There we go. Nice. So it's one strip there. And then we're going to put the other strip on this side. I know it's hard for you guys to see it when I'm trying to be like looking on top of it, but there we go. There's that final strip there. Mm, love it. Absolutely love it. There we have it. So let's take a look at it and then let's see if we want to add some stuff to it. I just love it. First of all, let me get... my chipboard sheet out oh, okay all right so let's have a look-see at what's in there and what we would like to do for it now again that back piece on the back is not as wide as i would like it to be but the plus side is i didn't cut into a whole nother sheet and to be honest, I don't think I have a whole nother sheet. <laughs> uh, I have like, I have one that I'm using, going to be using for ornament, I think. Yeah, I have like one sheet, two sheets. This is the cut apart sheet. And then I have a couple six by six. So let's look at this and just see if there's anything we want to add to it. Like, I think it'd be cute to maybe put like this Merry Christmas, like, going like this but now that I'm looking at it I don't really like it but I might like it in the middle of this I do like it in the middle of that I'm going to add some yoohoo to these and maybe I shouldn't add it to the center because some people like to put pictures so I'll probably put it down here so there's that Merry Christmas. So cute. I think I'm going to use some wet glue, too. I don't like how these pull up a little bit. You know what it is? Is they are so thick, these chipboard pieces. So they really need a little bit of help. If you know, if you get my gist. Like now here, I might want to add... And I want to add these two like this. Just bear with me for a second, guys, because I have, I have an idea. 
If I put them like that, oh, I'm going to have to move you for a second. Sorry. I'm working in such tight corners here. Then I thought we could maybe add a little string to these banners. Yep. Let me cut this. Okay, so now I'm going to lift this up because I know it's not too, too tight in there. I'm going to push this down and I'm going to add some glue. make like a little banner up here and then take this one hmm, that one actually stuck pretty good oh do you believe it it just came up all right stay put i might have to add more glue i'm going to add a lot of glue on this one and then i might have to pull that other one off and add some more glue just because i want it Hmm. I might have to tie that knot again. Yeah. This knot will have to be retied, but first I'm going to push that down. Maybe we should put some tape behind this too. Let me just, let me just fiddle with this for a second. Okay. Cut that part off. Cut that part off. Yeah, I like that. That's so cute, but I just want it a little bit up more. Just a little banner. I might just stick a piece of score tape in there too, guys. I'm not liking how it's sticking, so let's just put a little score tape. Between the glue, the score tape, and the chipboard, I think we'll be good to go now. Yeah, I'm going to put a p another piece of score tape on the other side too. Just a little bit, just to give it a little, let it hold it down better. And that was actually starting to hold, but still going to put one. There we go. Yeah. That's good. And then this one up here, I think would be cute to put something. Maybe the, um, will this fit? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Yes, it will. There we go. So cute. And do we want to put a little circle on the top? I do kind of like that. This little bird guy. Yeah. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. I'm just going to stick him up here. Centered the best that I can. I really don't want to put stuff here because it just kind of blunt, you know, goes. So I'm not going to put something there. Um, we'll put something on here. I was thinking maybe the tree. And the tree kind of blends in. Let's see. 
maybe the stocking yep I will use the stocking and I think I'll put this on a pop dot use the star too that would have been pretty uh, I'll just put this one on here I like it there and then all I want for Christmas is you up on top there we go and let's just see where we're at here not bad remember again michelle dt is your code to get yourself a nice discount now here i definitely want to put i wonder if i could do this where it's i love these these two that say oh holy night and love and joy like i kind of like them like one on top of the other like that But the love and joy is going the wrong way. So I think I'm going to do one down here and one up here. Yeah. And I don't know what I'm going to put in this pocket yet. Might not put anything. So we'll put the old holy night here. Pretty. And then the love and joy under here. Enjoy over here. There we go. And then I was thinking of fussy cutting this Christmas tree. I know, talk about last minute, guys. I did not have that planned until just now. But I see the spot I would really like to have it, so... All right, so first what I'm going to do is like a rough cut around it just because I don't want to mess up anything else that's on this. And again, this is, remember, the reverse side of the cover of the, pa of the paper pad. All your cutouts are there. Because I was thinking of putting it there. been feeling so sick but I really want to put my trees up so I don't know when that's going to happen this pneumonia really caught me off guard I was fine and then I was like super sick 103 fever had to get rushed to the urgent care had to have the chest x-ray the you name it I had it um covid test flu test you know they didn't know what was wrong at first and then i started to be able to not be able to breathe good at all it was horrible and i knew and then what was really interesting was it came up in my time you know time facebook has like a memories and it said 10 years ago today and people were wishing me well because i was sick with pneumonia so I had it 10 years ago. I thought that was interesting. All right, here we go. And again, I don't want to put like too much stuff inside this because then our magnets are going to have a problem. You know, we'll have drama with that and we don't want that. So we try to make it not so thick but still have a lot of elements see so I was thinking this tree on this page oh, now that I just cut it out it looks kind of big for there let me look at my ephemera pieces because I can always use that I'm not worried about it I don't know if it's in the 
on the left, so let me see. Nutcracker, he's so cute. Oh, the poinsettias are cute. See, this is a look. This tree's little. I want a little tree, just a little one. Or do I want to put a poinsettia? I would have to have it this go this way. Mm. I just don't want it to go over the score. You know what I mean? The two of them. Look like a little. Oh, yeah, this tree's little. Let me see my little nutcracker guy. He's big. And do I want him on here? No. Here. Decisions, decisions. See, that tree's too small. I think we use the bigger tree in the other in our book, which is fun. Okay, let me just put a little star up here. I kind of like that. Just like a little bit going on, not too too bad. I think the pop dot is going to be too much. I think it's going to make it too weighty. So I think I'm just going to glue this on top of here. I think it's going to just be too much. And then let's put this here in the corner, but I want to make sure it doesn't squish. Like that. Yeah, I just don't want it to go over any of my score lines because it will get bent. And we don't want that. I do like the star up here. Okay. And then we'll put my little nutcracker here. I like him. He's cute. And what's weird is I don't own any nutcrackers. Isn't that funny? Like I have a lot of Christmas decorations. I've never gotten a nutcracker. Probably because I haven't ever found one girly enough. This needs some glue under here. I could see it's lifting a little. And the same thing with this side, even though we did put some glue under there. There we go. And I mean, we could put your tree coming out of here. If you want to, I don't like that. That's that's not a good idea. But we do have these cards that we could put in. Um, I don't think this no six by six would not fit. Um, we could make tags too. That's why I have these pieces left over. If we wanted to, you know, just add a couple of tags. It's probably better. Get a piece for a tag. And then let's put a little circle on him. Mary up at the top. Yep. Be Mary. Now, as you can see, I put that at the top, so I have to put something behind it or else it's gonna stick. Because it's like half on, half off. So just if you do that, remember the other side is still sticky. Yeah. So we have Bean Mary. 
We have this little one, which is cute. Um, we could put maybe naughty or nice on this one. Cute. Just the, add a little, and then the birds. Cute. Really cute. I love it. I love it. So let's look at it all again. One more time before I call it quits. An hour and 25 minutes later. Um, but I love it. I think it's so cute. All right. I'll mess with this glue a little bit. All right. So let's go back to how it's supposed to look. There we go. See, now the magnets are really, we're asking a lot out of those magnets now. So you just have to really realize that it's not as magnetic. It doesn't snap into place um, as it did before because we've added some stuff. I think maybe we could put Time of Wonder under here or maybe on top. Time of Wonders. I like it on the bottom. I don't know. I like it on the bottom. No, I think I'm just going to leave it. So, all right. So, the front cover opens like this. We have a little cutout. Then when we open this, we have a little place to put some tags. We have two flips. And look at that gorgeous seam. Oh, my goodness. I just love it. And look at how cute the flips look. And then we have a flip and a flip. And then we go to this side. And then we open it this way. Look, guys, look at that. Oh, my gosh. I love it. This flips. We have our pocket. And we have another pocket here. Oop. Flip that like that. And like that. And there you have it. Easy peasy. This is our Minte Time of Wonders paper, which I love. And this will, this paper came up a little bit. I was messing with it too much. Um, look at how sweet. I just can't even stand it. I think what would be really cute would be a bow up here or something. Not uh, like a paper bow, not a regular bow. But then when you use it, it gets squished. So I don't know. I don't. Th I think I'm gonna just leave it like that, guys. So <laughs> because we already did. So we did that. We did this. So we have these two projects. And if you missed this one, there's a three-part something tutorial for those. So don't worry, you didn't miss out. They're up. And um, hopefully tomorrow, if I'm feeling up to it, we'll do the mini books. And then see what we have left for inserts for our book. But that's as far as I want to take it right now because I'm conserving some of my paper. <laughs> Not all of it, some of it. Um, just because I want to make those little mini books and I want to see then what we have left. I also have the paper clay mold. Um, that may, we might want to make something for our, uh, I'm just saving all my sheets. I keep all these little notes handy in case I ever want to make it again. When I put it in that book, like I showed you. Um, but yeah, so we might want to make some of those too, the little molds and add those pieces onto these pieces. I just, like I said, I just don't know yet what we're doing. So let me zoom out a little bit. Let me zoom out. And there you have it, guys. I've got my nice little sweater on. I'm freezing. Um, but yeah, here's our two Minte projects so far. We'll probably have two more at least. Maybe three depending on what we have left but i love it i hope you love the folio i think it's absolutely precious i don't know there's something about the folios that i really really love 
Um, and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, please share, please try to watch the ads. And don't forget, Michelle DT gets you 15% off anything in the store. So, I mean, that's crazy good. Crazy, crazy good, especially with all of the new paper she's been posting. I haven't even had a chance to look at it yet um, because I haven't been feeling well. So I know, I know I'm definitely going to be going and looking. And I am going to save these little Time of Wonders off the selvage ends that I cut just in case we want to use them for something because it's just it's the name of the line and it looks cute. So we'll see. There you have it, guys. Our two, so now we're done. We have two projects done with this. I'm happy to say, and you know what I'm going to say. Stay safe, be well. God bless you all, and bye for now.